attacked, at least 26 people have been killed in airstrikes allegedly by the Saudi-led Arab coalition on a fish market in the Yemeni port city of Hodeida. For its part, the spokesperson of the Saudi Arabia-led Arab coalition denied any responsibility for the airstrikes. Earlier, the International Committee of the Red Cross said that it was sending medical equipment to Al Thora Hospital to treat 50 people in a critical condition following the attacks. The strikes come as the United Nations tries to secure a ceasefire agreement between the warring sides. All right, joining me from Amman in Jordan is my colleague Daniele Pagani. Good evening, Daniele. Now, there are conflicting versions of the casualty figure in those airstrikes in Hodeida. Some call it 26, others call it uh, putting it at 55 or even 70. What's the latest you're picking up about the situation in Hodeida as we speak? Good evening to you, Ramesh, and good evening to all our viewers. Uh, uh, so, yes, there are conflicting numbers. We have agencies, uh, press agencies, putting the number at 28. Uh, the Houthi rebels, uh, which are currently still in control of large parts of the city of Rodeida, put the casualty number at 55 with more than 120 citizens severely injured. Whatever the number of casualties, this is what we were expecting and what the international community was warning of when they said that a large-scale offensive against the city as densely populated as Hodeida with the second largest port of Yemen could have caused. This is indeed a tragedy. Uh, yes, the Arab coalition does not take responsibility for these late bombings, but it's harder to believe it is not on their side because they are the only one heavily bombing the city of Adeda. Remember that a combined offensive started more than a month back. The offensive is led by the uh, Saudi Arabian-led coalition, which involves also heavily the United Arab Emirates and also part of the supporters and the troops on the ground standing on the side of the former president and now his son. And very quickly, Daniele, some are calling Yemen the never-ending war, a forgotten war in every sense of the term. For instance, the WHO calls it the worst humanitarian disaster in terms of uh, a fear of cholera epidemic breaking out. Malnutrition is pretty high in Yemen. Uh, and uh, there is no end to the resolution of the ceasefire talk. So what's happening in Yemen as we speak with the UN trying to bring the two warring sides together for negotiation of the prospective ceasefire in Hodeida and beyond? Uh, the Special Envoy for Yemen and the United Nations, uh, Mr. Martin Griffiths, have been trying to negotiate very hard in the last uh, three months at least a peace agreement regarding the port of Odeida in order for the United Nations to take full, complete and exclusive control of the port in order to let humanitarian aid in. He's also trying to uh, broker a deal, a truce deal between the warring parties of the United Arab Emirates and Saudi-led coalition and the Houthi rebels uh, with no result. What we know so far is that uh, the United Arab uh, Emirates and Saudi-led coalition has not started bombing heavily on daily basis the city of Adeida because it's a densely populated area and they know very well what it means in West Asia to bomb such a city. Yes, Yemen is indeed a forgotten conflict. Yemen was already the poorest among the Arab nations. The conflict started in 2015, divided the country in two, with now a third party in the southern part of the country claiming to be willing to form another independent entity within the country. So many warring parties, the international community not able to reach on the ground in many areas, the media not able to reach on the ground in order to witness what is going on, a complete battle of narratives and a very, very limited amount of medical equipment. Doctors, remember that Yemen is basically now in bankruptcy. So managing each and every single uh, situation like the one happening right now is critical. Indeed, on that note, Daniele Pagani in Amman, thank you so much for that update. Appreciate it.